I don't want you to cry. Just trying to keep it together. That's it. Make sure things good. Make sure mom's good. That's it. Is that my shirt? I don't think so, sir. It look like it's my shirt. Yeah, it can look like whatever you like. This ain't your shirt. <laughs> it look like it's my I shirt. Got, I got uh, two more, not like this, different colors with the same design. Okay. Yeah, all right, so all right. these ain't yours. All right, I'm just making sure it ain't my shirt because it look like it fit me, though. Okay, no, no it ain't going to fit you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
of the uh, opposite sex. Hashtag celibate. Anyway, we'll move on from there. We'll just move on. <laughs> Hash there. whatever the hell. I don't care. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I want to know, Pop, the, um, when you when you start driving, what year did you start driving? Ooh, I started driving back in the 90s. Uh -huh. Back then, what was training like for you? Did you have to do like a phase where you're on the truck teaming with a person before you learn how to drive, before you got your own truck? Actually, when I uh, uh, got out there with my trainer after we did the class, two weeks of class, which was bullshit, two weeks of class, and then they had a track where everybody go out there on the track in the bobtails mm -hmm. and just uh, go around the track at the speed of the uh, of the bobtail. You didn't touch the accelerator. Yeah. Okay. So when you needed, it, you were just out there to learn how to switch gears, double clutch and switch gears. Mm -hmm. And then you go as fast as, you know, the truck goes in that next gear. And that was just that. And then they had a field where you serpentine and learn how to serpentine, and then you had a field where you learn how to back up mm. and stuff. Um, that was C1 Truck Driving Training School up in Indianapolis, but they shut down for some reason. I don't know, and I don't really care. Mm. But the thing is, that's where I got it. I went out with my trainer. I think I was out there with my trainer three days, and by the third, third half a day, he was in the back sleep. Mm. Yeah. Either you can do this or you can't. Yeah, because I heard of I heard a friend of a friend say that a friend of theirs went to a trucking school mm -hmm. and they sent them home and said they didn't request the skills to be to be a trucker. Mm -hmm. Like they just basically said you don't got it. Yeah, either you got it or you don't. You know that's just the way it is. You know if I'm sitting over here in a in a training seat and I'm white. And as a ghost and all my curly black man hair is standing straight up on my head, you need to get the hell out the truck immediately. <laughs> you ain't driving nothing because I'm going to fail you. Okay? So, he was in the back by the third, by the, by the, by the fourth day, by noon, he was in the back sleep. The rest of the three weeks we were out there. Until it was time for him to drive, then I was in the back seat. Then we switched up, then I drove. He ain't even look no more to see what I was doing. Y'all was just teaming at that point. Too. Yeah, pretty much. Because, because I, I didn't need him there. He said, you ready to go back to, to, to Charlotte? I said, whenever you are. He said, you got this. Went back to Charlotte, got in a truck, got my own truck. Went to work. And that's when the horn began. Yeah. Huh? I don't know about all that. Let's get to the good I don't stuff. Know about all that. What was all the cheeks at on the road? Okay. That's what we want to know. Back then, all th everything was in the horseshoe. What's that? You know about the horseshoe, right? No. Okay, well, the horseshoe might not be there no more. But anybody looking at this video that's old school like me, it's got a little time in, know where the horseshoe at. That's up there at the TA in Oklahoma City. Hmm. Okay. All the chicks from the strip clubs would come hoeing over there. And believe me, there were some hammers back then. <laughs> what is... Oh, oh, stop, God. stop, stop. Because when you say stuff... <laughs> but what is a hammer? <laughs> Brick house hammer. I mean, <laughs> boom, boom, bam, okay? Girl had it. All the old school brothers, y'all know what I'm talking about, Okay. <laughs> They come, those strip clubs had some bad mamma jammas up in there. It was some hammers. It was around. some hammers, okay? Not hammer, hammers. Hammers, okay? Uh, plural. Okay, we black, okay? We don't use all that extra stuff, okay? okay? Hell, it was a hammer. It was some hammers. Uh, okay? All right, all right. All right. All right. Don't, don't play with me, son. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Now, okay. What, was you, what, was you, what was you bringing home a week, your first year? My first year, I was driving a company, you and I was bringing home six or seven hundred a week. That ain't that ain't bad for for the nineties. That, that ain't so. What was you getting a mile? A mile when I first started, I was getting twenty two cent a mile. Yeah, yeah, twenty two cent a mile. Started with forty seven. Yeah, well, things have gotten better. See now that that confuses me. That right there. Mm -hmm. Because if you hear other people say things, they got worse. That's all depending on how you're looking at it and what type of driver they are. Owner, I'll say it's getting worse. 
Uh, I believe that it, it is it, to some degree is getting worse as far as the rates are concerned because mm-hmm. nobody wants to pay. They're still trying to pay yesteryear's money for today's economy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And instead of you know you, you know you know they're making a killing. The brokers are bull crapping around instead of paying what needs to be paid, and so, so they can make more money on the back end. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And try to cheat the driver, but the driver's got all the overhead and expenses. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, nobody wants to be fair because everybody's greedy. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Greedy, including some of the drivers. You know what I'm saying? They, they're greedy too. But, you know, everybody's not going to get a $3.97 load. Every day now. Because that don't work that way unless you pull in uh, military freight all the time. Government contract, and, and aircraft. Government contract, aircraft parts and engines and stuff and, 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 and uh, equipment and tools. And, you know, you're not going to get that all the time. You know, you're going to get those dollar loads or dollar 25 cent loads. But those loads sometimes lead to the better loads. It yeah, just depends on what kind of to get you to a better market. repertoire or position you are with your broker. You know, you know how cool you are with your broker. Some brokers you can't be cool because they so stupid they can't even. They don't even know how to flim flam. They just like right wide open. Well, I got this low paying, you know, uh, 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 eighty seven percent a mile. Mm. I mean, broker, are you stupid? <laughs> ain't no, don't no driver want that unless they stupid driver ain't just getting out there. Don't know what they doing. Yeah. You can't even offer the driver a dollar fifty cent a mile. He paying you to drive. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell gonna take? Ain't nobody taking that. Especially if. <laughs> If you have an older truck, you ain't got the, you ain't getting the gas mileage. It's, you wearing tearing your tires. You taking up time out of your seventy for eighty seven cent. I say I can't move. I, I don't. I can't move my truck. I could, but in my mind, I can't move my truck for nothing less than a dollar eighty five. Right. And a dollar eighty five, I don't want to move it. Mm-hmm. So usually, I get shot somewhere between. I try to stay at two. If you can stay at two, you can make money. Yeah, two and up. Yeah, you can make and money. And it can go up to three twenty six. But you you got to be in the in the area where you can make those kind of monies, or unless you got those type of contracts. You know what I'm saying? Or you got something going with somebody. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Or, or something private or stuff like that. Or you got a few trucks hooked up with a company that's paying X amount of dollars and stuff like that. But these these brokers are crooks. Mm. they just crooks and I'm just putting it out there I I done went out there and did the broker thing with my boy you know what I'm saying and they crooks they crooks most of them are crooks not all of them but most of them are crooks and they and they just trying to trying to beat you every which way but loose but they ain't got no overhead so they don't care but they gotta care because that low gotta move so they find some stoolie that'll move it Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying somebody will move it what's a stoolie Dipshit, dumbass, knucklehead, <laughs> fool, however you oh, want to put it. This is the new era of PC. What's that? Political correctness. Man, ain't no political correctness. People ain't, have feelings. Ain't no political correctness in the White House. Ain't no political correctness nowhere. <laughs> you call them uh, dipshit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. You know. Shit. Maybe they just don't know how to pick their loads um, correctly yet. Well, they'll learn after they go broke. <laughs> they'll, they'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You pull the load, load board, all those load board, all those brokers out there, new brokers are coming out every day. They dropping stuff on the load board or they'll go and get a load from somewhere else and put a, and put it up there. And then as soon as they put it up there for such and such, they'll put it up there as bait for this such and such. And the guy call and get on it. Then some other guy, other guy call and he'll bid him lower than the other guy to get him to take it. You see what I'm saying? Mm. You know, and all that foolishness. The broker gonna make money. And make money on the amount of loads that you pull. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And everything. So why are you being so greedy? Because they just ratchet. I mean, that's what people people think that's that's business. That's uh-huh. not business. That's not business. That's that's stealing. Mm. That's stealing. That's a hard allegation, right? No, there. that's not an allegation. Those are facts. It's stealing. They period. Feel, they put this. I gotta play the devil's advocate here. They feel that if you are, if you're going to take it and you agree to it, then that's not stealing. Because you agreed to make, you know, the person agree. Now, the person may not be as informed as they need to be, but they feel. Then the ass shouldn't be out here. So if you're out here and you're not as informed as you need to be, 
by the teachings of the vile maxim, all for me and, and that's it, they have the right to take advantage of you. Nobody has the right to take advantage of nobody. The thing is, these brokers know what they're doing. That's what makes it jacked up. They know mm -hmm. they're, they're doing the bad thing. You see what I'm saying? They know the driver got to make money. They know the freight's got to be moved. If the freight sit too long, then the freight's going to go over to the to the um, box companies, mm -hmm. and they're going to pull it for little or nothing. What is the box? I mean, box truck? Yeah, you know, 53-footer, stuff like that. Mm. You know, they're going to go to them because they got more trucks, so they can, they can, they can bid lower. You see what I'm saying? Mm. But if you're dealing with owner operator, I'm not trying to pull this freight for 87 cents a mile. But you got a company like Snyder got 10,000 trailers. You know what I'm saying? They'll yank it for 90 bucks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, uh, but see, it's too much freight out there because not even the big companies like that can pull all the freight. Mm. Then you got the intercontinental freight on the, on the containers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the box companies are getting into that now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why the ports are so full. Yeah, and Warner and all them and getting Snyder that. too. And stuff, you know. And I ain't mad at them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, you know, you got You just believe that, that in, in good decency, right is right and wrong is wrong. Yeah, right is right and wrong is wrong. You know, there's plenty of money to be made. You know what I'm saying? You can't take it with you when you die. That's yeah, because, I mean, if you make over $5 million, what else are you making? I mean, like, okay... What else are you gonna buy, dude? Like now you're making money. It's a game at that point. Yeah, if you're making over five million dollars, your money making money. You ain't gonna do nothing. Else. You can put your five million in the bank. It'll make money every year just on the interest alone. You can get a check coming to the house every month and still make money. You know because that's the main dream of every you know trucker that comes to trucking school. I'm getting there. I'm gonna give you ten trucks and I'm gonna go home. And I'm just yeah. Well, they caught up on the dream, not on the doing. Okay, because it's harder to do than, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, you can you can do it if you got the money to get 10 trucks and you have money to invest in your company like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you got money set aside for breakdowns. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. you got your money for your insurance, your plates, and all that, which is very expensive. Okay, one truck, you know, uh, you got you to gotta get your, uh, your, your, your uh, rights and all that. All that costs money. You know what I'm mm. saying? And plates per truck, the 1800 per truck, 10 trucks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you got drivers. Then you got to deal with the hassle of drivers that don't want to work. Mm. You know, they just sorry. <laughs> just sorry. Just sorry. Sorry. I listen to I listen to drivers, you know. I'm at the truck stop. I'm eating. I listen to drivers. And I can pick out the sorry drivers. Mm. Just for how they t because of how they There's talk. At the bar. Around that little round circle thing, they be, they be back, talking back and forth. Talking. They ripping us off. Right now. You, you know, they ripping us off, but you sitting here talking to so going to make some money. Or getting your getting your 10 hours or whatever. Mm -hmm. You want to sit here and complain. I don't have time to complain. Because number one, I'm blessed. Mm. To even have a job. And anybody that's working, that's making a decent wage is blessed to have a job. So you don't have nothing to complain. You don't have nothing to complain if you're on this side of the dirt. Welcome. Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here on Rumble. And I have to give a personal shout out to all the people who did hit the cash app. They do get to suggest what type of content comes out. Um, this next topic that's coming is coming from Roadrunner. He is a new uh, person to on the uh, on the uh, on the um, Patreon. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do this and that, and and the work's catching up to me and all that type of stuff. But I'm back here for y'all. We're going to be here to burn miles. Thank you to every single person who hits the cash app and thinks of, I want to support this channel. So they're just a looky lose. That's why I don't talk to you on that. When you hit the cash app, those people I'm going to make sure I speak to when I see in the chat. Those are the people that are going to make sure that I 
talk back to when they have a concern or something like that. All the people that are in the Patreon, they get first look at everything that's going on. So the two people that really, really help people out and help out the actual channel. I appreciate you. Don't do drugs. It's Trucker Brown. Go to the Patreon now and sign up.